And how you doing? It's a new day, it's a new unboxing and setup video and today we are going to be taking a look at the Creality LD002H. So without any further ado, let's crack this one open. Right, with the unboxing out of the way we'll take a quick look at the printer so at the front you've got your power button and touchscreen on the side you've got your usb port and a little maintenance window and then at the back you've got the power port for your power cable right so we'll have a quick look inside the printer next and we're going to start off with the build plate now this has a nice uh, slightly textured finish which will be good for adhesion and it also uses the sort of standard four screw uh, leveling system. Right, so we we'll take a look at the resin tank next. And one thing I like about this one is that the whole thing comes out as one piece, which I think is quite nice. It's, uh, it's quite a nice solid design as well. It's completely metal, um, so it's nice and robust. At the back, there's also some measuring guides. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't say what they are, but you can find that in the user manual. Um, at the back here you've got your monorail for your z-axis so that's nice and sort of stable and also on the other side over here you've got your carbon activated filter which is nice to help get rid of some of the smell from the resin and at the back there you've got two little guides for actually fitting your resin tank back in. Right so before we do anything else I'm going to do a quick exposure test just to show you the screen and what I'm going to do is just pop a bit of paper on the top here and turn the tank cleaning function on and as you can see the whole thing lights up nicely the slight darkness on the right hand side is just from the shadow uh, from the top there right so without the way let's get everything set up to use I just wanted to point out there's a little nook here at the top which uh, lines up in a sensor down there with the build plate which helps to level it um, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna loosen the build plate it does come sort of pre-leveled from the factory but I'm gonna actually level it again myself just to show you so what we want to do next is just go into your manual movements and then press the home button. 
Now, it doesn't say to use a piece of paper or anything when leveling this, um, this printer. It just says press the home button. Once the build plate's flush on the screen, just tighten the screws and away you go. Right, so once you've tightened all them up, you want to go back to the home screen and press the set zero button and just confirm that. And once that's done, you just want to go back into your manual movements and raise the build plate all the way back up to the top. Right, so the resin tank is next and what I like to do with mine is give the bottom a little bit of a dust uh, with a microfiber cloth just to make sure there's nothing stuck on there and likewise with the screen. Uh, and the good thing with the microfiber cloth is it shouldn't leave any marks or scratches anywhere. So once you're done with that, just line the tank up with those little, those little sort of grooves at the back and screw it down into place. And then what we're going to do next is take a quick look at the USB stick and the final bits you need to do before you start printing. Okay, so on your USB stick you've got a few different folders. In folder 1 you've got a PDF version of the user manual. In folder 2 you have everything you need to install Chitubox, but I will point out that this is a slightly older version of Chitubox. Uh, in folder 3 you've got a couple of troubleshooting guides. I think this is the, the same thing as the back of the user manual. Uh, in folder 4 with a little typo you've got a couple of pre-sliced files to print. Uh, it's worth pointing out that these are also using the new CTB format. And in folder 5 you have a little operations video which I haven't watched but I assume it's just showing you how to set up and use the printer. Um, so what we're going to take a look at next is how to get the latest version of Chittybox. Right, so to get the latest version of Tidybox, you want to go to their website, which I will leave a link for in the description. Uh, you want to hit the download tab and select Chittybox free. There is a pro version coming out, but it's still not available as of yet. Um, so once you get to this page, you've got a couple of options to choose from there, and then you have a selection of operating systems. So choose what you need and then hit the download and we'll take a look at the next step. Right, so once you've gone through the installation, you should be met with a window that looks like this. Uh, and what you want to do is just select Creality and then select the LD002H and click OK. That will then add it to your list of printers. Now mine is showing the settings box because I already have Chittybox installed. But to bring this up, you just want to go to the settings here and select it in your list of printers. Now this will show you all the details of the printer. Um, you've also got a few tabs at the top here, so you've got a resin one, so you can actually fill in a custom sort of resin settings for yourself. You can actually add these as profiles. And talking about profiles, if you click here, you can actually see that there's already some pre-installed profiles for some of the Creality resin. Um, in the print settings, this will be all your settings for printing, uh, so you can change your layer counts and exposure time and all that sort of thing. Um, then you've got infill and advanced. I'm going to leave all mine on default. Um, let's just put this back to profile. I'm just going to see actually. Yeah, you see changing these profiles actually does change a couple of settings there. But I'm going to leave mine on default for now. And I'm going to tune my resin in later on. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go off and print one of the test files with one of the pre-sliced um, files on the USB. So I'll see you again in a sec. Right, so time for the test print. Now before I handle the resin, I am going to put on a pair of gloves, uh, safety first and all that, and I'm also going to put on a mask. And the resin we're going to use, so we're going to try out some of this eSun Precision Model Resin. Now I haven't used this stuff before, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to, uh, to try it out and see, um, see how it handles. Right, so with everything in place, uh, you're pretty much set to go. So you just want to take your USB stick and pop it inside. And then what we're going to do next is just navigate to the print section and just find that folder, uh, which was number four with the models. And what we're going to do is we're going to print the sphere and um, see how that turns out. Right, so that more or less wraps it up. Um, here is the test print that I did. Um, it did come out a little bit warped at the top, but as you can see, the rest of it is pretty nice. Um, 
To be honest with you, I wasn't a huge fan of the eSun resin. I did try and fine tune it um, after I printed this and it wasn't really having any of it. So I ended up swapping it out and going back to my trusty sort of water washable uh, stuff from Elegoo. And I did print this Orc Bust, which as you can see came out quite nicely. Um, I used a bit of the uh, Monocure 3D stuff there to, to change the color slightly. Um, and actually I put some pictures in here so you can take a closer look. Um, this was all printed on default settings using that uh, default profile that I showed you so it's just two seconds per layer everything else as it is um, I haven't changed anything yet um, but yeah I will get some more stuff printed on this um, I hope anyone watching found this very useful uh, especially if you're looking to buy one of these so far my first impressions are pretty good um, keep an eye out for some more videos on this printer I will definitely do a review at some point um, and I'll probably do some other little videos as well so yeah thank you for watching as always and take it easy and I will see you next time